Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Padilla La Teresa Capa Maduro Serie 2010. So with the banding removed, um, construction uh, of the cigar, a nice firm, nice firm stick, has uh, a a double cap, a veiny wrapper, dark veiny, a little bit blotchy, slight imperfection, uh, looks like maybe it might have torn at one point, I don't know, but we'll see how it holds up to smoking, Let's see if it, uh, hopefully it won't unravel on me or, or anything. There's a, a couple, a couple places where there's a, a nick in the, in the wrapper. Today, I'll use my, my V cutter. This particular cigar. I apologize, but and I, I guess I should have looked this up before I did this, but uh, I, I don't know the exact dimensions of the cigar offhand. Uh, it's roughly seven inches in length and probably in the mid to upper 50s uh, ring gauge. The pre draw. Has a good draw to it. Not too tight, not too loose. A mm, little bit of a little bit of spice in there. Let me see what I'm picking out. Oh, that is so familiar. What is that? Oh, that spice, I, I, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. Chili powder. Reminds me of chili powder. So whatever spices are in a can of chili powder, that's what I've got here. I'm tasting. I'm using my Burns-O-Matic torch to light the cigar. As I mentioned, I have had this cigar before. This particular series also comes a uh, Kappa Habana and also a Kappa Maduro. I've had both. There we have it. The initial, the uh, first impression from the initial lighting of the uh, of the cigar. Still getting some spices, a little bit of white pepper in there, and that the chili powder is still there. It was uh, the same. I'm getting the same chili powder that uh, I got on the pre-draw for the addition of uh, uh, some additional white pepper and uh, a little bit stronger.
quite spicy. But a good spicy. Not just, oh, it's just all hot and spicy. No, it's, it's, it's a flavorful spice. It's, it's very, uh, it has a very interesting characteristic to it. It's, it's not just, uh, you know, flaming hot, spicy, like, like some of these things can be. It's, um, it, it, it's got some character to it. So here we are into the first third of the cigar. A little bit of unevenness to the burn, as you can see there. Uh, on the longer side of the burn, I'm, I'm at probably close to an inch and a half worth of ash. Seems to be holding on just fine. Uh, no significant cracking in the ash, so I'll, I'll let it go like this for a while yet. So, in the first third, I'm finding there's still uh, a little bit of the chili powder spices, a little bit of the white pepper, a little bit of leather has been introduced, not a whole lot, just a very slight amount. A little bit of mineral in there. Give me a little while, I might be able to pick out the mineral that I'm tasting. Once again, um, sitting outside on my porch. It was another rainy day today, uh, so it's quite damp out, cloudy. Um, a little warmer than it was uh, in some of the other videos that I took outside on the porch when it was damp and cool. Uh, it's quite pleasant out, just a t-shirt and a, a long sleeve shirt. Uh, no need for a coat or anything. A little bit of a breeze. Not bad. There's uh, a fair amount of smoke comes off the cigar. Uh, just with it sitting here, just, just a, a very slight amount coming off. And with the, with the wind, it's pretty much just blowing away. Uh, it's not you know super windy, but a little bit of a breeze. Not an excessive amount of smoke. Uh, the uh, the unevenness on the burn doesn't seem to have corrected itself at all at this point yet. But I, I don't see any need to touch it up at this point either. The ash is starting to curve on me ever so slightly. So I may end up ashing this just so I don't have to worry about it dropping off. I'm at a good solid inch and a half at this point. And just based on the fact that it's starting to curve, I think I will go ahead and ash it so it doesn't drop in my lap. little flick and it came off uh, to a point, as you can see. There's actually quite a lot going on with the cigar. Not not so much in it changing from one flavor to the next. It, it just seems to be that there's several things going on at the same time. And they're all blending together nicely. But at the same time, it's hard to pick out the individual nuances. But uh, it, it's... Uh, overall, a, a, a pleasant smoke. Haven't had any real issues uh, with the burn or, or the draw. Everything seems to be going just fine. Uh, as I mentioned, just, just a, a slight uh, uneven, uneven burn. A little bit of unevenness going on there. No big deal. But because of that, and because of the fact that it's a little bit of a curve to the ash. I will once again be ashing this pretty soon. Second third of the cigar. Well into the second third. I've been picking up in addition to the chili powder spices, a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of leather, a little bit of mineral. The new thing that's been introduced in the second third, a little bit of sourness. Not like a sour grapefruit kind of sourness that takes place 
way in the back of the mouth. But more of a, I guess a, like a sourdough bread uh, kind of sourness. Quite pleasant, actually. It's a, it's a pleasant sour, uh, if you like sourdough bread, uh, which I do, so I find it enjoyable. Um, and there's also a little bit of creaminess coating the inside of the mouth, the cheeks, the tongue. Not an overbearing amount, just, just a very slight amount of creaminess. Second third of the cigar, um, I've found, is, uh, it tends to be the sweet spot on the cigar. There's a lot more going on. Uh, introduction of some new flavors, some new feels, some new mouth feels. Without completely losing the original nuances, so that's that's always a, a, a pleasant um, experience uh, when a new flavor or a new sensation is introduced as you're smoking the cigar. When you, when you feel that new that new feeling, like the creaminess in the mouth, or uh, the, the new flavor, a new nuance, such as the sourdough bread. Uh, that's always uh, uh, I always look forward to the, the new sensation that comes through and this cigar uh, delivers that quite nicely it's a, a nice transition it, it doesn't hit you like a ton of bricks when the new flavor or nuance or feeling comes in but it's, it's definitely there uh, it, it blends in nicely uh, just adding character to the cigar now into the final third of the cigar. I'm about to ash it. Uh, there's probably a good two inch worth of ash on there. It seems to have corrected itself. Uh, not completely, but it's not as uneven of a burn as it has been. The ash is a little bit loose, as you can see there. So I'm going to go ahead and ash this at this point so it doesn't fall off. Little flick came off nicely. I'm in the final third of the cigar. Still has white pepper. Slide them on a leather. A little bit of creaminess. That dryness is still gone. Uh, it didn't, as I, as I said, it didn't really last very long. Just a few minutes on the dryness. There's something else there. Quite sure what it is yet. Take a minute or two to pick up on what it is. Still not quite sure what it is. But once again, it's a, a new flavor that's being introduced in the final third. As I mentioned, it's always a welcome experience when a new flavor or feeling or nuance comes through in a cigar. And part of the enjoyment of a cigar is trying to pick out what the the new flavor or experience that you're picking out of the cigar to trying to determine exactly what that is as it's just starting to come through gives you time to really think about 
the cigar, what it's what it's doing, what it's what it's putting out, what you're taking in. Still, once again, a, a solid, even keeled, medium bodied cigar. It hasn't deviated from that at all, really. Uh, other than, you know, initially, just uh, on the very foot, it seemed to be uh, a little stronger. Uh, but I find that to be the case with most cigars that I smoke. The uh, initial lighting tends to be, uh, I don't want to say harsh, because that's a Maybe a little too harsh of a term, but uh, definitely seems to be more powerful when you first light it, and then after the first half inch or so, uh, the the true uh, body comes through, and it's it's stayed a, a medium bodied cigar all the way through. So now I'm basically at the nub of the cigar. There's oh, roughly a inch, maybe not quite an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter worth of ash. Kind of loose on the ash. Uh, not to a point where I feel the need to ash it at this point. I will soon. But as I approach the nub, I'm once again picking up the white pepper and the chili powder spice has returned uh, very mildly. It's a very slight hint of the chili powder. Really those are the only two nuances that I'm getting off of this cigar at this point, a little bit of spice the two spices that I had mentioned, the white pepper and the chili powder. Very slight hint of sour, that sourdough, but but very, very slight, very short on the finish uh, of the sourdough. The spices throughout the cigar, the spices have been kind of on the short side of the finish. It didn't really linger around very long until I took another draw and reintroduced the uh, the smoke and the, the nuances that come from the tobacco. It's a clean burning cigar. I'm, I'm not getting any kind of staining or anything. There's no bitterness at all. So it's a very well constructed, well aged cigar, uh, properly cured processed properly. The only issue I had was where the wrapper started to uh, split a, a little bit, uh, but it didn't come completely unraveled or anything. It, it burned through it and uh, didn't continue to unravel or anything. Uh, so here I am at the nub. It's holding together nicely. So in conclusion, I would say this well-made, medium-bodied cigar puts out nuances of leather, white pepper, chili powder, a little bit of mineral in there, a little bit of sourdough, and gives you a overall relaxed feeling and uh, an overall very pleasant cigar. So I thank you for watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews of the Padilla La Teresa Kappa uh, Kappa series, uh, series 2010 Kappa uh, Why I'm an idiot the Kappa Maduro, thank you very much the Kappa Maduro series 10, series 2010 cigar and I will smoke this down to the nub till it's burning my fingers because I'm really enjoying the cigar thank you